you guys it's Ashley and I'm back with another video before we start this video I want to say thanks to all of my new subscribers oh my gosh y'all I've been on YouTube for like almost a month now and I'm close to 100 subscribers and it's not about the numbers but it's like cool to know that something that I'm just doing because I'm bored <laughs> But I don't know, you guys wanna see what I, I'm doing with my hair and I really appreciate that. And I really appreciate the, the sweet comments and the new Instagram followers. Like, I love this, I really love it. And yeah. <laughs> In today's video, I thought I'd answer some frequently asked questions. Questions like, how many locks do you have? What products do you use? I'm just gonna answer the questions that I've been seeing the most in my comments. Here we go. I'm gonna have pictures and stuff throughout. Y'all know me, I'm gonna put pictures and videos all throughout this video. So, yeah. The first question is, can you do a 360? The second question is, when, why, and how did you start your locks? I started my locks on June 28th, 2018. I started them because I was sick of having loose natural hair. I cannot braid, cornrow, twist, but I know how to retwist, so I was just like, lock me up. Like, I'm tired of getting my hair done every two weeks. I'm tired of dealing with this fro that shrinks up when it's wet and when the weather changes. Like, I just like a carefree hairstyle, so. And I kept seeing people with locks. Like, you know how hard it is seeing people with something that you want? I was just like, let me get some locks. Let me get some locks. As you guys know, this is my second set of locks. My first set of locks, I started with the instant locking method. Don't do that. I went to a hair salon and I asked the loctician to start some thick locks on my head. And she did just that. How many locks do you have? I'm gonna count my locks. Let me go ahead and count my locks. I'll be right back, hold on. Favorite slash go-to hairstyle. My go-to hairstyle is always a headscarf with laid thin edges. My 14th month mark, I was able to put my hair in a bun and like a ponytail. So since then, like I've been putting my hair in ponytails. Of course, I'm mindful of like not doing too tight of a ponytail or a bun because you know you want to protect your hairline like that's my favorite hairstyle right now what products do you use so i'm pretty minimal when it comes to products i guess i use dr bronner's peppermint soap as a clarifying shampoo and then i follow up with a moisturizing shampoo from dang i forgot what it's called but um i recently ran out of like a lot of my products so i put an order in with amazon to re-up on my products and they're coming in on the 22nd. Of course, you guys know, like they're only shipping out essential, essential items. So when I get my products in, I'll be doing like a haul and I'll show you guys the products that I use. For shampoo, Dr. Bronner's Peppermint Soap. And if you watch my lock retwist video, I use Supergirl hair gel from Amazon. Biggest mistake slash biggest lesson. So I've made several mistakes in my lock journey and I'll say that the biggest one of all of them was allowing people to get in my head about how they feel about locks because locks are a controversial hairstyle I guess so a lot of people came to me with their stereotypes and their disbeliefs and their beliefs about how locks should be and how black women should wear their hair whatever it was I allowed that to like caused me to spend hundreds of dollars to get lock extensions in my first lock journey. And that was my biggest mistake. If I had never gotten lock, lock extensions, I would have been, what, three years, three and a half years into a lock journey. And because of that, ugh, because of that, I'm now, you know, I had to restart. And um, if I, I just, I don't know. That was my biggest mistake, allowing people to get into my head about 
how they feel about locks. I feel like I know what's best for me. I know what's best for my hair. I know what I want for my hair. Let me do my thing and you do your thing. My biggest lesson was the lesson of patience. Um, patience is something that I've asked God to grant me and I feel like having locks definitely showed me how to have patience, how to have self-love. Now I find myself having patience in other aspects of life like with you know, children, with my, my family members, with my academics. Like I'm in college and I'm not really where I want to be in terms of graduating. It's not a race, it's just everything's a journey, you know what I'm saying? What has changed since you started wearing locks? Hmm. My self-confidence has changed since I started wearing locks. When you can like wake up and feel beautiful, like you don't have to put on makeup, you don't have to put on a wig to feel beautiful. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with makeup or wigs, whatever. But for me, like, I feel beautiful. My, when my hair isn't retwisted, I feel beautiful. When my hair is retwisted, I feel beautiful because I know I have a crown on my head. You feel me? Like, I feel like I have a permanent crown on my head. It feels amazing. And because of that, I can walk differently. I hold my head up when my hair is out. I don't have to spend too much money to look beautiful. All I need to do is re retwist my hair sometimes and I feel like, whoo, that's me. How often do you wash your hair? I don't let my hair go longer than three weeks without washing, unless I have a style or something. But even then, I notice that when my hair is dirty, my face breaks out. So to keep my face from breaking out, I try to wash my hair every three weeks. I try to retwist my hair every three weeks as well. Sometimes it's just like as needed. If my hair is dirty, I'm gonna wash it. Have any employers ever turned you down for having locks? No. <laughs> I wish so. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I've had I've had several employers. Trust me, I've had several employers since having locks, and every one of them have always complimented me for having locks, or it's always been like, "Yes, you go queen." But yeah, thanks for watching another video by me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you want to see next on this channel. Um, I know I did a poll on one of my older videos and it was like, do you want to see a wash day routine or a, whatever you want to see, comment down below and let me know and I'll definitely do that next week or so sometime. Bye!